All right. I just wanted to do a quick load test with my Slayer Exciter here. Um, I just have this light bulb sitting in this piece of PVC because I, I don't want to hold it. This is the big one. I believe this is the 24 watt bulb. No, it's actually 27 watts. 27 watt CFL. As you can see, it grow, glows pretty bright. Um, this is also another coil. It's not really connected to anything. Um, I just have nothing else to hold it on to. Uh, I'm sure it does put load on the electromagnetic field around it. Uh, it does have some interesting properties, but that'll just further demonstrate the power of the circuit. So we got another one. This is a, how many watts is this exactly? 13 watts. I think these are all 13 watts. Add another 13 watt. Okay. Actually, put in that finger, 213 watts. And then, and look at that, another 13 water. Okay, now the original coil does get more dim, and eventually it's going to drop out. Now, my hand is now also at this point loading the circuit. If I had these bulbs attached to like a pole or just another PVC with fishing line, just dangling them. Uh, they would actually glow a lot brighter, um, but I don't feel like finagling anything like that right now. If anything, this just further demonstrates how powerful the single transistor Slayer is. Uh, I, I don't think I have any more CFLs like these in the house. Uh, I pretty much rated all the lamps, as you can see. I got five 13 waters and a 27 water lit up you know and I can still go out pretty far let's just try it with two still got some kind of range with the 27 water and the two 13 waters I mean like they're still they still pretty I don't even know if that's still in frame yeah just barely in frame let me kick that over to the side a little bit okay so from the very top of the torrid so I got three bulbs, I mean, two bulbs on the left, left easily got a foot from the tip of the torrid. So if we take this guy and pull him all the way out, this is one huge 27 water, he's still glowing just a little bit. Just drag him a little bit more up, oh, there we lose him. This guy I can drag out real far. See, he caught him. I'm pulling it out. It's still in frame, yep. That's it's not too bad. I mean this thing generates a lot of power. I wish I had more CFLs in the house to test this out with. Um, but yeah, this guy easily lights up all these CFLs. I don't have to have them right next to the coil either to get them all lit. Like I can still be some reasonable distance away from the coil. Look at that. That's a 15 volts. I'm sure it's less than 250 milliamps. Uh, I can try to touch this transistor here. The transistor that drives the whole circuit actually is still pretty pretty cool to the touch um, I'm impressed I'm very impressed with this circuit uh, I'll come, definitely come back to more come back to you with more of these videos uh, I get more into the detail specs and some upcoming videos I'm just really more concerned about demonstrating some key properties of this guy first which is pretty cool alright don't forget to hit like and subscribe I'll come back to you with more of these videos.